Hello, welcome back. So it is day three of the 30 day challenge and I'm kind of not following the order today. Um, it's meant to be ombre lips, but I'm actually going out today. So I thought I would do a look that I could actually wear out the house. So luckily for me, one of the prompts is everyday makeup look. So my everyday makeup look isn't anything really special. It's just a really natural look, a uh, winged liner, and then I like to put on fake freckles because I was not blessed with freckles. So I like to just draw some on. So yeah, if you wanna see how I do my everyday makeup routine, then keep watching. So in my first video, I did say I don't like using primers, but my skin today does feel a little bit dry. So I like to use the Max, oh, what is it? The Max Prep and Prime spray. It's the one with the um, pinky flex in it. And I like to use this first rather than last because I prefer the shimmer to be underneath the foundation rather on top. I find that sometimes when you spray it on top, it kind of sits on the skin a bit weird. So. And then I go in with my foundation on top of that. As always, I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible mixed with a bit of a MAC face and body to get the right shade. Mix that on the back of my hand and just blend it in with a brushing brush. So I shall do that and I will be back in a second. Right, so I've got all my base laid down there. I also went ahead and put some concealer on as well. I used the Lasting Perfection concealer from Col Is it the Lasting Perfection? Yeah, the Lasting Perfection concealer from Collection. Um, I used shade one just under the eyes and mixed of shade two and one just on my blemishes. Now, sometimes I apply powder. Today, I don't really feel like I need it. I feel like my face, like I said at the beginning, my face is a bit dry at the moment, so I don't want to add any powder on it because it just clings to the skin and it don't look quite nice. So instead, I'm going to go ahead and start with my brows, as always. I feel like a lot of this you might have seen in the past videos, if you've seen my past two videos, but I, I'm going to use the Tattoo Brow from Maybelline. Just really nice, natural, fluffy brows. Just brush the brow hairs up. And then anywhere where it's a bit sparse or there's a gap, I just like to do natural hairs and fill it in. Just Right, so I'm just going to go and do that on the other eye and I will be back in a second. So there we go, that is both my eyebrows done. Now I can move on to my eyes. Um, so today I'm just doing a makeup look that is just really natural and simple. Um, sometimes I'll go out, I'll go all out and do like a really bold, crazy, colourful eye. But most days this is just, this is all I use. So I just use a bronzer and I just get a fluffy brush and I literally just put a tiny bit of bronzer into my crease. Just warms the eye up a bit, gives a bit of depth to it. Gives a bit of definition. And it just looks really natural. It kind of looks like you're not really wearing anything, especially because at the end I put this bronzer on my face as well. It just ties it all in really nicely. Okay, so that is literally all I do for shadow. The easiest eyeshadow tutorial you will ever see. And then sometimes if I feel like it, I might just put a little bit of shimmer on. So this is just a Illa Masca powder that I've had for years. As you can see, it's a little bit tattered. I'm just using that shimmer a tiny, tiny bit on the center. Not, not all over the lid, literally just the center. And then the clear duct. And that just gives a really natural glow. And um, then I can move on to eyeliner. I don't always do eyeliner on days where I can't be asked. I literally just put a bit of mascara on. And then I've got some fake glasses that I put on. It kind of just hides your eyes a little bit. But today I do feel like doing a bit of eyeliner. This is the Maybelline Gel Eyeliner. It is the best gel eyeliner I have ever used. It's so creamy. And it stays on the eye. It doesn't run. It's brilliant so if you saw my monochromatic red makeup you'll see how i do eyeliner it's exactly the same i just start at the wing and drag it across and there we go that is one eye done and what's great about not having any eyeshadow on is that you don't need to worry about your eyeliner ruin your eyeshadow if you do a bit of a mistake just get a cotton bud and slap it up a bit of concealer and clean it up barely got any eyeshadow on so it doesn't really matter um, I'm gonna go ahead and do this on the other eye and I will be back in a second 
and there we go that is both my eyes lined um now sometimes if i feel like it's looking kind of sparse right at the base of the eyelashes and i've got as close down as i can on the top i do go on the top wall and so this took me ages to be able to do it and i still can't do it that well because it really irritates my eye but basically i just make sure there's nothing on my finger clean finger lift my eyelid up and then with whatever's left on the brush i look down And it just helps to fill in any gaps. Ooh. There we go. So as you can see, this one now looks a lot darker and thicker than this one does. So I'm just going to finish off this eye. And there we go. I don't know how much of a difference you can actually notice there. In fact, let me just zoom in a little bit. There we go, that should be focused. So hopefully you can see that it's a bit thick, a bit darker. Obviously, if you've got really sensitive eyes or your eyes water really easily, don't even attempt it because I've been doing this for a long time and I still struggle with it and my eyes still go all <laughs> like weird and whatever. Yeah, so next, I literally just put on a bit of mascara and then that is the eyes done. I always, 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 always curl my lashes. I think it makes such a huge difference. If I have a day where I'm not wearing any makeup, but I'm going out of the house, I still just curl my lashes because I think it just opens the eyes. I did once try those heated eyelash curlers. I don't know if you ever saw those. They never really took off, but it was just a little stick and it heated up and then you just brushed it through your lashes. And it was meant to, I'm guessing it was meant to like heat them up and curl them literally did nothing it was useless and then next for mascara i'm going in with the mac hot and naughty lash i really like this mascara i like the brush on it um it's one of those soft brush soft bristle brushes and i just think it gives a really natural look because it doesn't go on clumpy or anything and i'm just gonna brush those through top and bottom <laughs> And there we go, that is it for eyes. That is literally the easiest eye look I do. Now I'm gonna move on to finishing off the rest of the base. So next on the base, I like to do some fake freckles. So I like to use a really tiny pointed brush. Can you see that? There we go, just a really, really small pointed brush. Um, and then some people like to use cream products. Some people use like eyeliners or lip liners. I've just used my contour powder. So I just take this middle shade here, just a nice light brown, and I just go ham and dot it around my face. I start out with the most product in the center, and then when there's less product, I go up to the sides. So literally just dotting it wherever, and then taking it out. Always on the high points, because freckles obviously come out in the sun, so it's the same as like where you would bronze, that's where I put my freckles. I don't take it over the bridge of my nose because I find it's a bit too high and I just don't like putting them up there. And I do have, a, you probably can't see them, I do have a few really faint freckles on there. But the rest I just put on my cheeks. Now if I'm going for a really light look, I'll leave it at that. If I want a bit more, then I'll go for a darker brown this one and just dot that in as well that gives a bit more dimension makes them look a bit more realistic i think and then with my finger just pat them down so they don't look too intense and then we can go in with our bronzer our contour and our brush for bronzer i just take a nice big fluffy brush dip it in and go on the high points of my face. So don't be afraid to go over the freckles. If you had freckles, naturally, you would put makeup over them, so you'd just go through this the same way. And then I take it down onto my neck because I don't want my head to be a different color from my neck. Contour, same kind of thing, just more in the hollows. So here in the hollows of my cheek, 
just a tiny, tiny bit on the bottom of my jaw and on my forehead. There we go. And then I like to do a tiny bit of blush. Some people don't like blush. I love blush. I just think it brings a bit of colour to the face, a bit of life back to the face. I'm just using this pinky corally one in my Illa Master palette. Just on the apples, I like quite rosy look. I go quite red in my cheeks anyway, so. Tiny bit on the nose and whatever's left. Just take it around the temples. There we go, so I think I'm just gonna add a little bit of highlight. I've got this sleek highlighting palette. Um, I think I'm gonna use this orangey shade, if you can see that, because we've done quite a bronze look. I think an orange highlight will go nice with it, so just a tiny bit. Probably can't even see that on the camera. I'm gonna go a bit on the brow bone, top lip, and at the top of my nose. And there we go, so last thing to do is lips. Okay, so for lips, I always start with a lip balm. Literally whatever one I've got, I'm not fussy if it's got a bit of colour in it, whatever. If it's got a bit of colour in it, actually it's a bit better. Because then I don't have to do a lipstick. But just put a little, little bit of lip balm on my lips. And then, since it's an everyday makeup look, I don't really wear lipstick most days because I find it a bit... I find lipstick a bit difficult to keep on top of. I'm not one who tops up my makeup throughout the day. I put it on in the morning and whatever it looks like at the end of the day, that's just what I do. I don't take makeup out with me. So lipsticks, I only wear if I really, really want to wear a lipstick. So most days I just wear a lip gloss. This is a Fill It Instinct from NYX. It's one of those that's got whatever in it that makes your lips tingle and it's meant to plump them up. I don't think it does, it just gives your lips that tingly feeling. Get rid of that one. And there we go, that is it. That is my everyday makeup look done. And there we go, that is day three of the 30 day challenge complete. I hope you like this look. Um, if you wanna check out the picture that I posted this look on my Instagram, it's on a road to Wonderland. You can see my other images for my 30 day makeup challenge, you can keep up there. Um, I have a personal Instagram that is Alice underscore Ashley. Don't post a lot on there, but go and check it out. And if you want to see what I do tomorrow for the next day, that will be ombre lips, then subscribe to this channel, give this video a like. Um, as I always say, you don't need to follow me on Instagram if you don't want to, you don't need to subscribe to this channel if you don't want to, but if you do, I would be very grateful. So yeah, thank you very much guys, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!